take it here and then we go to Walt Disney World and we taste it there. Do you think all the yeast is in there? Mom's not good at filming! Hey, cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh. We are so excited about this video. Um, We've been playing this for a very long time. Yes, this was like one of the very first things when we decided on Disney and tastings. Uh, <laughs> we were gonna do it. We decided that one of the oh my gosh, my hair keeps getting stuck in my dress. Oh, there you go. It's so um, one of the gosh, things yes. that we really wanted to do were remake the beignets from the what's it called? Port Orleans. Port Orleans Resort. Resort at Walt Disney World. At Walt Disney World, which is themed like. New Orleans. Princess and the Frog and New Orleans. Um, we will be making these here. Can you put a picture in there? Oh yes, I'll put it. Of what it looks like. Beignets. It was just rectangular, but now they're Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse shaped. But the first time we did it, we made it out of this book, which we got from Disney. It's the Disney 50th like celebration cookbook. And they, it was the gray stuff, so go watch that. It was fun. Yeah, go watch that. But they actually don't have a terrible amount of recipes in here. Um, so then we were like, okay, there's no beignets. Let's go to Nana's cookbook, which mom bought for my grandma when she worked at Disney. In June of 1993. Look at it. Look how old it's it was. It's so cute. Aww. But the beignets aren't in there There's either. no beignets here. So, <laughs> so we, we had to go onto Disney Parks blog and find the recipe. So this is what we're working off of today. So um, we're gonna make these today. So this is what we deal with imitating. So this is what we do. If you're new to imitating, if you're new to imitating, we are too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what we do is we take a Disney recipe and sanction Disney, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. And then we make it here, and then we go to Walt Disney World and we taste it there, and we tell compare. each other. We compare. So last time, well, I'm gonna be honest. I've made, I've used this recipe to make beignets one time. And it was like two years ago for an ASL assignment. They weren't making my shape, they were rectangular, but they were so good. And I think they tasted a lot like the ones from Port Orleans. So hopefully if we do this right, then- but this time we're gonna it. cut the Mickey Mouse shape. Yeah. So, so without further ado, let's get to- let's Woo! Quarter cup of water. I know this is not the appropriate measuring tool. I did take nutrition in high school. However, we don't have a quarter cup of a liquid measuring thing. This is not going as planned. <laughs> Anyways, quarter cup of warm water and then a half teaspoon of dry yeast. I think yeast is so funny, except it kind of scares me because I feel like I learned that it was like alive and that kind of freaks me out. But now what? Stirring to dissolve. Let's stand for five minutes. Let's give her a nice little stir. The spoon guy. Perfect. Aw, it smells good. It smells like bread. It smells like such fantastic bread. Five minute timer is started for our dry yeast dissolvage. In the meantime, we're gonna combine sugar, shortening, salt, heavy cream, egg, flour. <gasps> oh! <laughs> and boiling water Woo! in a large bowl. That was like a really good voice you had on there. Oh, did you like, like that? That sounded like almost like, you know those like HGTV shows? Oh it's yeah. Like, then we took her into the five room mansion. <laughs> That's what your voice sounded like this time. Thank you. I'll keep trying to so talk like that. So it sounds like, like a that. flight attendant. <laughs> uh, our dry yeast has now been standing for five minutes. So now we're gonna let it sit. <laughs> let it rest a bit. I'm boiling. Mom's not good at filming! You have to. Okay. We do make a very good team. Yeah, it's just sometimes, like, sometimes she really be pushing my buttons, isn't it? Okay. Go see if it's boiling. What? We felt. I think I have flour all over my arm. Wow. See? Look, she's doing it wrong. Oh. I'll open my business though. This is not going as planned. Is the sink in it? Nope. Do I think it's in it? <laughs> We're mixing. But we don't have a dough attachment. It says to use... Oh, oh my gosh, it says to use a dough attachment. <laughs> Literally. Sorry, it says to use a dough attachment, but we don't have one of those, and we don't have a mixer. So we're gonna use a hand mixer. It can imitate the dough attachment, right? That's the only thing that's different for us. Stir in yeast mixture, and then with the dough hook attachment. Whoops. Yeah, it was at this point that we realized that we really messed up. We were supposed to add the yeast before we started mixing. It's okay. Uh oh. We might have messed we've up done there. messed up. Please. <laughs> Did you get all the get all the junk from the bottom? Oh my gosh. Whoops. We're in trouble now. Get my hands nice and in there. 
Kate has decided that she has to touch it, so she's going to go ahead and get Well, because we don't have a dough attachment, and I'm going to just knead it with my hands. Right. Ever since Katie was a little child, she had to touch everything. I called her Curious Kate. She touched everything. So we, I would get chicken breast out to um, to cook, and she would be like, Mom, can I please touch it? And so sometimes I'd let her in this front of it, I'd be no. If I said no, I would turn around, I would come back, and she would be, I could find her. Like, she just could not <laughs> keep her hands off of it. I'm gonna give my hands an extra scrub a dub. So I used to take her to the hair salon near where we lived, and I had to finally not go there anymore and go to a kid one, because every time we were there, Katie would go along and touch every single shampoo that was like displayed, you know, and in the lobby they had the display. Well, they're pretty, they're, they're all different colors. Oh my gosh. And all the bottles are really fun shapes. Oh my Katie? god, there's a storm brewing, Mom. There is a storm brewing. Look at it's it. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. I'd be like, Katie, don't touch. I'd be like, okay, Mom. And then you would be like, I am the storm. I am the storm is brewing. You are the storm. Make sure the yeast is nice and in there and incorporated. That was a pretty good idea, Katie. Do you think all the yeast is in there? Because like, yeah. I feel like it's not. You know, like, I feel like there's parts of it where it's like there's no yeast in there. You know? Mm hmm. Maybe I just want to touch it more. <laughs> I think that's it. So maybe we'll roll it up into a nice little ball, would not it? Mm-hmm. Like a little ball? Mm -hmm. And then just let it sit for 30 minutes? You're only supposed to mix it till it's combined and smooth, Kate. Well, it's not smooth. Okay. But it is combined. <laughs> that doesn't look smooth to you, does it? Not really, but I think you should let it sit. I think this, I think this is what I did when I made them the first time. I definitely used my hands to mix it. Okay. Just doesn't look smooth. There's trunkies in it. You just want to touch it? Yeah. That looks fun though. Yeah. Ooh, I hear thunder. Okay. All right, 30 minutes. Ready, 30 minutes set, go. Three hours later. After a brief intermission, so we're gonna clean off the counter and then roll up. Washy, 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 wash the counter. <laughs> Shall we sprinkle out some flour? You looking for flour, honey? Yeah. You were looking for flour. Oh. Where, where, where'd you go? <laughs> I was just, it's over here, Mom. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, we're still recording? Mm hmm. All right. I'm going to sprinkle our surface with some flour after we've just cleaned the surface. And hopefully, your hands are clean. I did just clean my hands as well. Okay, you can see what I'm doing right now if you want. Oh, is that a, um, is that a mom, if you don't mind picking up your phone and filming what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. It's a fantastic looking dough. It smells scrumptious. It looks scrumptious. It, honestly, this could be a good pizza. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to cut it with our Mickey shaped cookie cutters. Well, let me wash that really fast. Okay, mom's going to wash it first. All right, we're gonna go in with the Mickey Mouse cutter now. Very exciting. We've rolled out and cut Mickey Mouse shapes and we're leaving them to sit covered for an hour and a half until they are raised. Then we're gonna fry them. Not going as planned. <laughs> Looks like we're about to like, take some French, McDonald's French fries. French fries, right? I'm kind of nervous to be honest. Yeah. Um, Working with hot oil is always a little don't bit. Don't want to get nerve-wracking. Blamed by the hot oil. No. However, I've done this twice. I'm kind of. I feel like I because I made churros once too. Whatever. So, we're gonna start with one, mm -hmm. and then eventually we're gonna like move past one. You know, like we're gonna try and do like two or three at a time. Okay, we're gonna take this one. All right, we've discussed this a few times because <laughs> this one's a good-looking one. Okay. Good luck, that's Kate. a good looking one, right? Beautiful. Okay. This could end with me going to the hospital. Don't, let's not do that. Okay. Ready? Are we gonna do one at a time? Uh-oh. It might not be hot enough. It might not be hot enough. Oh, well, let's... hold on. Are you swiveling? <gasps> it's exciting. Turn, maybe we just turn it up just a little bit. Sure.
So that's our first one. We can do better. It looks good, but yeah, I think we're gonna, that's, I just don't think this was hot enough and I'm not sure they rose much, but I'll still eat it. <laughs> Ooh, that looks great. Look at the powdered sugar. It smells so good. Are you guys ready for some beignets? They look yes. so oh. good, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. They really oh, look good. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> so we're gonna try these beignets now, and the next thing you guys will really see, good. we will be at Disney World. Can we just, oh. Wait, I just wanna, can we just get, did we get a picture of these? I did. You did? I did. I did. Okay, let's just okay, like, presentation so, sound of time. Okay, so wait. So yeah, so presentation and taste is what that we're going to be good. doing. It looks fantastic. Wait, so we're going to try these and then you guys, the next thing you'll see is us at Disney World trying them at Fort Lewis. Hey, Those cheers. Are, cheers. Bon appetit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little doughy. It is a little doughy. I'm okay. going to say doughy. And these more powdered sugar on the back. Is it cooked enough? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's just too, I think we just cut them too thick. Mm-hmm. Let's try another one over there. There's a they bunch need, of other ones that are thinner. They need to be fried hotter. Mm-hmm. I need a little more cooked. <laughs> <laughs> a little more cooked. Wow, there's powdered sugar. All right, guys. Wait, what? wait, what? Hold on. Can we try round two here? Wait, don't move. Ready? One, mm. two, it's round two. One, two, three. Cheers. There's a lot of dough. It's so gossip. Cream. It's just because it's still doughy. It's just because of the. You know dough. what? No, no. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's because of the dough to powder ratio. You just need to get it a little bit thinner on the outside, so there's more sugar compared to the dough. Because you have to have here's, the right ratio to get a good. Uh, here's my take. Okay. Uh -huh. I think the ears taste really good. Uh. I don't think they're too doughy. Yeah. I think that when I made them in the rectangular shape. Because it's just a rectangle, it puffs up in the middle, and then it's perfectly evenly cooked in the middle because it puffs and up like a rectangle. How does Disney do it? That's what I'm wondering. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'll go with a seven. It's pretty good. A solid seven. Uh huh. Okay. I'll do All a seven right. too. We'll see you guys at Disney World. Woo! <laughs> right. All right. So we are here because we are going to be tasting the beignets. Uh, like see if they taste like the ones that we made last night or better. I gave it, we all gave it sevens, actually. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sevens and we made a really right, doughy. Right, right. We're not, we're not Disney chefs. Though, so that's we right. Know. That's right. We tried. We're all gonna right. try the real deal thing. There's what the beignets look like, right? And they look, and they look a lot like ours. That's what ours looked like. All right. Like they if we're being like honest, yeah. I think look wise, we're doing good. Yeah, I think we got a ten. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, the sprinkles on there. Oh, this is one of my favorite places ever to be. Just, just, just drink, just yes. Because then we can come back here later if we want more, but just drink, because right. we're going to go eat right. other stuff. Right, right, right. right. This I is really like just a big. taste test. Like we did They're huge. Video. We should eat them outside. Maybe inside. I don't know. We shouldn't eat them in here. We should go to the Scat Cat Club. No, no, no. We should okay. go. We should outside. Oh, like where the iron like stuff is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is very exciting. This is so exciting. We got three with one dipping sauce and a water. And we have our um, our annual pass. We have our annual pass discount. All right, we got it. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, you guys, look at this. Okay, oh my gosh. Wow, this is amazing. It is. I'm gonna have that one. All right, so hold on. We have to get a little thumbnail here. That looks so good. I can't even tell you how good they smell, too. Okay, it's going first. So Ready? For looks, it looks very similar. The only difference is that it's larger. <laughs> and it's puffier. Okay, relax. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, you go first. Mm. Oh, yeah, I gave her a looks um, That's pretty doughy. Oh, it is. It looks like a donut. I remember it being like fluffy inside. All right, go ahead. I gave our looks a 10, but I think this one looks better. Chocolate sauce is cheating, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that right now. You can do that after you grate it. I mean, Joey, that's a 10. That's so good. I don't know how you do it. There you go. Oh my god. Mm, so good. Don't breathe. Don't breathe or you're gonna cough. 
Alright. The difference is this one melts in your mouth. Alright, All right, you don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> Katie, we did the best we could. Yeah, and you know what? At the end of the day, Actually, I'm nobody's. Alright, I'm giving yeah, this a 10. I'm, I'm giving it a 10 for looks, I'm giving it a 10 for our taste, I'm giving these a 10. I'm, gonna, I'm giving it a 9.25. Why? <clears throat> because um, I remember them being fluffier. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. See how the inside? Yeah. It's like solid. Yeah. I remember it being. Also, I like it better without the chocolate sauce. Mm hmm. You know? Me too. Mm hmm. Chocolate sauce does not belong in a beignet. What? You heard it here first. <laughs> not for me. Mm -hmm. I have to get all the extra powdered sugar. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's like a little crispy on the outside, fluffy and warm on the inside. The powdered sugar, perfect. They are huge though. Like I wish before I ate it, I held up my hand, you guys. They're big. Ours were much smaller. Oh. So you can really only eat one. Mm-hmm. Um, now I have to fly to Louisiana and try the real ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. New Orleans. We have to go find Tiana and actually make her make us one. In New Orleans. They do sell, the customer just told us they do sell the actual Cafe Du Monde. Do I have stuff on my mouth? Yes. The Cafe Du Monde mix for beignets is all the dry ingredients used to add the wet ingredients to make it. So I think we're going to purchase that. Try to get it home. And we're gonna get a meat thermometer because we think that our oil might have been too hot. And we need a bigger Mickey Mouse. Uh, and we need a bigger Mickey Mouse cutter. So there's gonna be a take two on this one. Mostly because I just wanna come back and eat these again. <laughs>